Fabrizio Poli is an aviation analyst and joins us now live from Manchester. Hello, Fabrizio. Um, first of all, what do you think of celebrity in-flight videos like this one we've just uh, discussed about Korean Airways? Well, as you know, the research proves that uh, they're not that more effective than, than the normal usual briefings that they do. So it's not that by watching a celebrity a safety video, everybody's going to understand what they need to do in the case of an emergency. So it's a bit of a marketing gimmick, I think. Um, yes, it is entertaining, but, you know, does it really... Um, does it really help the passenger understand what they need to do in a emergency situation? I think there should be something more, let's say, interactive if you want to take it to the next level, uh, and that would get the uh, passenger more engaged with what they're actually seeing and understanding what they need to do if something goes wrong. All right, Fabrizio, I'll hold that thought because I want to uh, show our viewers right now what Turkish Airlines uh, have done because they previously had um, a Lego cartoon and they've changed it. Let's just play it now. Take a look. Adventure. I guess you could say we've kind of become movie stars. But we're between movies right now. And what do movie stars do between movies? Star in a flashy airline safety, safety video. video. Can we get the step-by-step -step flashy video instructions, please? Here you go. Step one. All right, that's what they used to have on Turkish Airlines, but now here's the new one. Board this Turkish Airlines flight. We would like to draw your attention to the safety information you need to follow during this flight. Please stow your hand luggage carefully in the overhead compartments. You can place smaller items under the seat in front of you. All right, for our viewers, and, and Fabrizio, clearly it's gone from a, a Lego cartoon to something that is still animated, but more lifelike and, and a bit more serious, if I can use that word. Why do you think there's been that change? Well, I think the second one is going to capture people's attention because it's serious. I mean, the Lego one is a bit, oh, it's a Lego cartoon. They're not going to take it seriously. While the other one is professional, it's still, you know, got the animation in it, but it's going to capture their attention on the, on the important things, which is, you know, oxygen masks come down, you know, where the life jacket is. Those are the things that the passengers need to, need to understand where those things are and know what to do if something goes wrong. But Fabrizio, you know... Uh, one of them had 20 million views on YouTube. You know, it doesn't matter about, you know, these views. And as you say, this is quite dangerous if you don't know what to do um, in an emergency situation. I personally switch off. And even this one, I'm looking at the pink hair, not look at, thinking about uh, in-flight safety at all. So surely this is very dangerous, is it not? Well, you see, the thing is, at the end of the day, we need to sort of understand what the passenger is understanding. Um, and uh, as I said before, you know, the research points that, you know, these sort of fancy uh, in-flight videos don't, aren't as effective um, as the, the original ones were. I think a certain level of interactivity should happen. Um, and I think that's the important thing. But we also have to bear in mind that passengers today are a lot more informed. People in general are more informed. When you go to the doctors, the doctors find their patients are more informed. Airline passengers are more informed because of the internet. Um, and yes, to a certain extent, these videos going viral is a good thing because people are going to watch them and they're going to watch the Virgin Atlantic one, the British Airways one, the Air New Zealand one, the Korean Airlines one. So when they do get on the airplane, they're more informed, this whole story of the oxygen mask or whatever. Mm. So that that is a good thing uh, about this thing. But uh, saying that, you know, they're, they're more effective than the, 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 the ones that have always been used. Um, I'm not sure about that one. I think, you know, we could use, with the technology we have today, everybody's got a smartphone, some form of interactivity with the passenger to make sure that they have understood the safety briefing. I like what you say there, interactivity. Fabrizio, thank you very much indeed. Fabrizio Poli for speaking to us here on the News Hour on TRT World. Thank you.